NASCAR might be getting hydrogen power sometime. After the NASCAR Cup Series finale back in November, NASCAR President Steve O'Donnell, along with some other NASCAR executives and their OEM partner in Toyota, flew over to Japan to check out hydrogen-powered race cars. And before everybody freaks out the same way they did with the EV things, they're not racing hydrogen cars now, or not even in the not in the distant future. Like that's going that's a long-term project. So don't freak out. Don't send me threatening emails the same way that person did when I talked about EVs a couple weeks ago. That was completely unnecessary. We don't need that. The same way that NASCAR and Steve O'Donnell explicitly said, we're not racing EVs, they're not racing hydrogen-powered cars anytime soon. They're going over to explore the technology. The same thing they did with what the EV is. They built that EV race car just as a proof of concept to be like, this is what we can do with the NASCAR R&D Center, along with the manufacturer support as well. They're going to do the same thing with the hydrogen car. I guarantee you NASCAR and their R&D centers are already working on building out a hydrogen car, laying out, you know, at least the base for what that needs and then building a proof of concept. And before you freak out, hydrogen powered race cars do sound a lot like an internal combustion gasoline powered race car. I know... Ev I know everybody is freaking out about that. It's the sound. You're going to get rid of the sound. That's why we don't want EVs. We don't want to go listen to RC cars. Completely understand that. I don't want to listen to that either. That's why Formula E does nothing for pretty much all of us. Is the racing good? Yeah, sometimes. But the the sound, the ambiance, everything that goes into it just isn't there. With hydrogen powered cars, you're going to get nearly the same sound. For example, I'm going to put a video clip in right here. You can listen to the Toyota Corolla. Uh, the hatchback, the new one, the, the GR, you can listen to that as a hydrogen powered race car. And it sounds a lot like what it is. Take a listen. So yeah, it sounds a lot like what a race car should sound like. And if you've ever raced on iRacing, as soon as that clip came up, you immediately knew what track it was at. One of the OGs absolutely love it. But when it comes down to hydrogen cars, people are going to say, well, it's hydrogen, right? It's not going to be the same as gasoline. And you're right, it doesn't burn gasoline. That's the biggest change, right? The combustion does not come from gasoline burning, from that spark, fire, bang, power. Doesn't happen like that. Instead, it burns liquid hydrogen in that combustion chamber. So that's what it is essentially. So you can just think of it as a cleaner burning version. And it's going to take some technology. There's a lot more pieces that go into a hydrogen powered car than an internal combustion gasoline powered car. I mean, when you think about it, a V8 is a pretty, pretty rudimentary object, right? It's a block, it's got cylinders, it's literally air, fuel, spark, power. That's what it is. With the hydrogen car, the general concept is still the same. It's just got a few more pieces that are going to have to be involved, which isn't a bad thing at the end of the day. If it keeps race cars on track, it keeps race cars sounding like race cars going just as fast, I'm fine with it. If biofuels can't be the future, which maybe they can, who knows, this might be the next best solution. It's definitely better than EVs. So when people freak out that they don't want EVs, that they don't want this, they don't want that, maybe this is the right solution. And again, I can't stress this enough. The fact that NASCAR is not going to have a hydrogen powered car in 2025, six, seven, eight, probably not even by the time we get to 2030. I think they'll probably introduce a hybrid component before they even get to this. And if you freak out about hybrid components, you shouldn't, because I think that would be great for the racing. And if you have them pull off pit road out of the pit box on electric power, and then as soon as they get out into the pit lane, it flips over to internal combustion and you get that gigantic roar on 40 cars after a pit stop, yeah, give it to me right now. I want that every single time. So people will continue to freak out about hydrogen powered race cars and they absolutely shouldn't. I don't think they should at all. Some hardo is going to say that it sounds terrible. I get it. They're not going to like it. He probably hates McDonald's French fries too, if we're being completely honest. You can't please everybody, but I think this could be a decent solution down the road if, like I said, Biofuels don't, biofuels don't work out, and if they want to get away from gasoline-powered race cars. It just kind of is the way things are moving. So if hydrogen's the answer, might as well go over and do some research. And if they can attract another Japanese manufacturer because of that, that's a good thing. More manufacturers in the sport isn't bad. They're not getting any right now with an internal combustion gasoline-powered engine. 
Maybe we'll look at it down the road. Who knows? But the fact that NASCAR even took the trip over is interesting. And maybe we'll see a proof of concept sometime down the road. Eventually, we will see the NASCAR EV make its public debut on track for us. Um, we'll have to wait and see on that. They said they'll likely run at another event sometime later this year. I'm guessing it's going to be a short track just because that's where they've tested it at. So it makes a lot of sense to do it there. You're probably not going to see it do a test run at Daytona. Uh, or anything like that. So for now, hydrogen-powered race cars in the future. So we'll see what happens. Let me know in the comments, are you happy about this? Please don't send me any threatening emails. Once again, like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.